It's all about the money, money, money. It's all about the, whoa, I'm rich, I'm rich. No, I'm not, really, I'm not. Um, Yeah, anyway, let's talk about mining with the two most powerful graphics cards in the world. So I'm talking RTX 3090, AMD 6900 XT. And by the way, I actually turned on every GPU in my house and I saw how much I could earn if I turned on every GPU. It was like something like six or seven GPUs. And whoa, it looked good then. But let's talk about these two graphics cards, how much money I made, whether it's worth getting graphics cards for sort of like mining. I'm not a miner, but I'm doing this as an experiment. And whether it's worth, you know, spending the money you would have spent on these GPUs and investing it rather than just, you know, mining and then making profit that way, I guess. Now, this isn't financial advice. Actually, there's a dude here. This dude here. This guy here. He is a weapon. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you to follow this guy's financial advice. By the way, it is Mark Demenzo. I think that's his name. Anyway, follow him if you want to know about investing. He has forgotten more about investing than I'll ever know. He's a man in a world where there's not many men anymore. And the guy's a weapon, right? I swear to God. He live streams. He goes on some boat in Amsterdam. He starts drinking. He starts smoking. He live streams it all. He is an absolute weapon, this dude. Anyway, let's talk about the matter at hand here. Mining with these two graphics cards. And what you've got to know is these two graphics cards cost me a small fortune. This is $5,000 Australian. So we're talking the 6900 XT cost me about 1500 US and uh, 39 it cost me about 2000 US really 2300 US but that's with our tax let's just say 2000 US so you're talking about 3700 US something like that 3500 US completely for these two graphics cards now the good thing about these graphics cards and I'll show you the profitability of these in a sec I'll show you how much I got paid not just this thing yeah I'll enter it on a calculator because it's not accurate, I'll tell you right now. But anyway, these graphics cards are brand new. They only come out like months ago. So the good thing about it is the asset is sort of safe for, I would say, at least this year. I don't think there's a better graphics card than a 6900 XT, and I don't think there's a better graphics card than a 3090 coming out from NVIDIA. This year, at least, there may be 2080 Ti's, cards in between, but I think going on past history, probably not going to be newer, better models than these at the moment. So as an investment, and given that they're hard to get, you will recoup most of your money back if you sell them sort of this year. So what is it telling me here? So I entered 28 cents that's what it cost me for electricity 28 cents per kilowatt now that's what it cost me in australian cents but i always overestimate so it cost me 28 australian cents which might be about 23 us in actual fact it's even cheaper than that because off peak i get charged 18 cents per kilowatt so if i was to be really accurate i'm really paying about 20 cents us per kilowatt but i overestimate i go to the higher end because i don't want bill shock right so i put 28 cents us where it should be 28 australian but anyway let's see what they say they say per day i should be getting with the 3090 7.55 us and with an amd 6900 xt $3.63. Now, my estimation for mining for three weeks, the 3090 seems accurate. Actually, the AMD, I reckon you make a bit more. You make about $4, $5 with the AMD. But this is their calculator. And by the way, the Radeon 7, I should not have sold that. That is the best. For what you pay for that and how much money you get, it's better than a 6900 XT for sure. Makes more money. Nearly makes as much as a 3090 and it costs a lot less. So those cards are going for really big money now. So if you have a look at the profit, this is estimated, okay? I'll tell you the real figures in a sec. So what it's telling me here is basically, I'll be making $216 a month with the RTX 3090 and $100 a month with the uh, 6900 XT. Now, I want to go on weekly because I've got a weekly breakdown. It's same weekly, $52 RTX 3090 and $25 with the 6900. So that should mean I should be getting about $75. Bucks. But I got more than that. That's mining with these two cards. So all in all, three hundred dollars a month I should be getting. Paid my electricity, three hundred dollars profit with those two graphics cards. Now let's get into what I was actually paid. And I want to show you. I actually put all my GPUs on in my house. So let's go to it now. And every single graphics card on my house is on at the moment. So I'll just put them all on at the moment. It's telling me I'm going to make $900 a month, $200 a week, and $10,000 a year. That's with, that's with every graphics card on. So that's two 2070s, 
6800, 6900 and RTX 3090. Okay, that looks good. But let's have a look how much I was paid. So this is how much I was paid in the last three payments. I don't want to go to that one. That's US prices. Go to this one here. Okay, so this is US prices. Three weeks I've been mining with the 6900 XT RTX 3090. $121, $107 and $147. Now this is all paid with Bitcoin. So if I have a look here, in actual fact, depending on the price of Bitcoin, that will go up and down. So before I was paid $145 and now because Bitcoin's worth less, I only got $132, right? If Bitcoin goes up, what I've made, it goes up as well. But essentially, this is what they paid me at the time. So $121, $107, and $147. So you can see I'm on projection here of around nearly $500 a month with those two graphics card supplemented a little bit with one RTX 2070. Now, without the 2070, my estimations are I'm going to make $100 a week and that sort of profit. And remember, these figures here are not profit. But I'm going to make, say, $100 a week US with just a 6900 XT and a 3090. So $100 a week sort of profit. And by the way, if you want to donate to my Bitcoin, there's my Bitcoin address. I'll leave it in the description there. This is my muck around account, you know. Um, if this is helpful for you, you know, throw me a bone. Is that sort of worth it, investing, you know, $5,000 or $3,500 US to get, like, $400 a month sort of profit, depending on where you live and what electricity costs. Well, only you can sort of decide that. Now, would I be better off investing that sort of money, $3,500 US, into Bitcoin or some other stocks or whatever? Imagine you put it in GameStop. Wow. But yeah, equally, imagine you put it on something else and it went down. I don't know, but I definitely know that it's probably worth doing on the side. So say you have a 3080 or or a 6800 XT or something like that and yeah you play your game you mine on the side why not you probably make you know 60 70 dollars a month and you can see here I've already made over 300 dollars so that's paying back already the investment I've had and if you work out how long it's going to take to pay back the graphics card at 400 dollars a month you know, it's going to take over six months and near enough sort of seven, eight months there just to pay off the graphics cards. But the thing is, as I said before, these are new graphics cards. They're an asset. So I could basically mine all year with these, make $400 a month and then sell these graphics card for pretty much what they're going for now. Maybe I'll lose a couple of hundred, but you know, you would have made that in mining and I'd have a nice little profit there. But anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. Mine for three weeks, looking at, you know, a bit over $100 a week, sort of profit there. Yeah, not too bad, but remember, that's, you know, $3,500 worth of graphics cards there. And yeah, I do play games. I stop mining when I play games, right? So that is what it is. I hope I helped you out here. I'll catch you in the next one.